Ayo, it's your boy Alert Gaming coming at y'all with another NBA 2K20 video. And today, the journey to getting this build completely maxed out, badged out, continues. Because today, we're taking the Demigod build, the interior 4 slash finisher to the Pro Am build. As you can see, the 3 versus 3 Pro Am build looks hella beautiful. But a lot of people don't play it. And we're going to find out how you get into this building before we even get started. Make sure to like comment and subscribe if you're new we did we upload daily 2k content and you do not want to miss anything else off the bat i just want to say i do not hate the three versus three pro app, but it does some have some main issues that makes it almost unplayable sometimes i do like the concept and the idea the 2k was trying to go for but i felt that they did not work on it enough and they just left it in the behind the work I actually really love the concept and the way it was actually designed it really looks really fresh and the fact that it helps the fact if you're constantly getting people running away from you I would suggest you come to the 3 vs 3 pro and all you need is 2 other people and you could come here and have a blast and it's really fun earning badges that's one thing that the park itself has a problem with is people are always constantly running away from us. I don't know if it's just us, but if you guys start streaking up, you're gonna have people, you're gonna have yourself waiting for games or you're gonna have people just running away. And most of the time, it might be hard for people who, if you don't have a lot of people, it might be hard for you to get games. So I would suggest you come to the 3 vs 3 program, grab two of your friends and just have a lot of fun. Come into here, you want to come here with the right mindset because a lot of people come here. As you can see, we are down by four and we are not worried. I'm being guarded by a center. He's a glass cleaning lockdown, so you can be seeing him, me and him going back to back. I want to show this gameplay why defense is really important and the mindset of you guys not wanting to lose is really important because a lot of you, a lot of people I play with, once they're down, they want to just give up. I'm not, I don't want to play with you if you're going to give up the first two minutes. We're down by now, but I'm telling my teammates, let's just stay locked in. We're down by six right now. It's looking really bad. I'm like, yo, we got it. We need to score, but let's stay focused. Get us, let's go and get a stop, and we're back in the game. It's simple as that. Me knowing that the glass clean is going to be a problem, so I'm always trying to position myself to get the board, but there, I'm not in position at all. He dives for the ball. He dived for the ball, giving us the ball. It would have been the ball, which was dumb myself for him. I don't know why he dived it. It would have been their ball that would have had a chance to make it an eight point lead. But that's okay. So shout out to Dan the man. That's the point guard. Dan is the point guard and DMB is our shooting guard. He's a shooting guard. I'll make sure if I get a chance to make sure I leave the builds in the link below so these guys are feeling themselves right now they have a six point lead they're throwing lobs they're trying to just mess around with us we have zero points right now but we are not worried because we are about to make some nice plays dan gets a shot he gets the he takes a contested shot he was trying to go for a fader but it doesn't give him the fader he wants it they they throw a messed up lob somehow they managed to get it and we are in a very bad position it's a 0-8 lead right now the big man has his takeover badge it's looking really bad but we ended up getting one green off the bat from the shooting guard and we are we are very okay that's what well, that's where we need to be we just gonna be needing to take smart shots the point the big man does have his take a bet but he's not smart he's not outboxing me and i managed to get that i'm inside the paint and we get the nice slam dunk the big man does not want to guard me he's trying to pickpocket the point guard and we are right now it's a five to eight right now i don't know how 2k let this man get away with that 2k how you let that he bounced it on the ground he was trying to get he was going for a dunk so i switched his animation but he ends up finishing that dan gets the gets blocked by the rim right there we in good position though so we are not worried too much right now so far that's a clutch three by the shooting guard and the seven to ten the score we are back in the game this is what i wanted we are back in the game they just had a they had a eight point lead and we trimmed it down so we are in prime positions but we need to get a stop he hits the clutch three he is the clutch three we're down by six and we are pretty much back where we started so the game is not looking too good but the fact that this is what the three versus three program is like you might not get the chance to play these guys again so you go hard 
people play hard when they get the chance to play at the 3 vs 3 point. The homie shoots the 3, but uh, we do not. I am ended up getting the board. That's clutch. You're going to be seeing me from this game just going stupid bananas. I'm not going to be scoring out as much. It's going to be a game where I'm going to be getting my people involved as a big man you want to be patient and but also being able to know when to take over because right there they give me the ball when there's no time left but you know i gotta make something happen so i noticed that the big man himself he is just he's not in position he is not in position he's not going for boards i'm easily out rebounding him right now and we trim down the lead to a two point lead we still need to get a stop so we can get back in this game he takes a contested shot right there he manages to get his own board, passes it inside. That's a good pass by him. That was a good pass. I'm behind the guy, the big man saw this. No way I'm gonna get the shot contest. They have a four point lead. We need to make a play happen here. The shooting guard is open. I set him on screen. He decides to drive, get inside, kicks it out to Dan. Right now we are, we are getting the night easy open shots that's what we're trying to go for depending on what the open shot is it could be the two it could be the three for us it does not matter too much the mindset right now is clutch mode clutch mode is fully activated for both teams except for that guy because he fully sold and we have the ball right now we have the chance to get the lead the shooting guard high he's wide open in the corner he misses the shot we got big board big body he misses again we got big board big body right there the point guard is wide open takes the nice midi and just like that we have tie game ladies and gentlemen this is where the game is anyone's game right here the, the look at him thinking he could just take it inside going for the reverse i get the board it's a two on one fast break and you know what that is that's a bucket right there and this is the first point in the whole game where we actually have the lead so the goal right now is to maintain that lead get the stop right here he shoots the three no 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 if this man thinks he's a glass cleaning no sir no sir we get the boards over him we have four boards we have nine boards right now ladies and gentlemen this is the point where this clutch i was not expecting him to drive inside i was expecting him to set up the clutch three play that's what i was expecting him he gets the nice but that was a nice layup right there now is the mindset is finishing off the game because we have the two point lead we do not need to go for a three we are not spacing out we are not spacing out the floor at all there's eight points eight seconds left on the clock i'm like yo just give me the ball with four seconds left on the clock the point guard comes to help the big man i posterize both of them and that's how you finish off the game big shack big shack to finish off the game we never had the lead the whole game but we never gave up we ended up coming through finishing off the game that was beautiful gameplay to never give up honestly you know that's not a cliche but don't give up i hope y'all enjoyed this if y'all did make sure yes sir we 